Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I am going to explain you about grid based clustering in the subject of data mining. So basically, we were discussing about the clustering methods in the previous videos, right? We have discussed about three clustering methods previously and this is the last one, the fourth one, which is grid based clustering. That is, you will be clustering the data, you will be dividing the data based on the grid structure. Okay, so let us see in depth and example for this and how that example works and all okay it uses a multi-resolution grid data structure that is here we are using a data structure which is called as a grid data structure why multi-resolution in order to give more clarity or in order to give more in detailed information we are using a multi-resolution grid data structure here okay what it will do is it will divide the object object is nothing but the data object into finite number of cells that form a grid like structure what do you mean by a grid like structure this is called as a grid structure right so in this each and every small structure is called as the cell okay so it will divide our data object into finite number of cells so you will have finite that is countable number of cells that will form a grid like structure got it so this is about the grid based clustering then what you will do is you will be calculating the density for these cells for each of the cell you will be calculating the density how you will calculate the density mass by volume so how much mass is there inside the cell that is how uh, much uh, like you know what part of the data object is inside the cell and the volume got it next you have to sort the cells according to the density got it so first you have to calculate the density before that you have to divide the data object into number of cells and then after that you need to calculate the density then you have to sort the cells according to the density then you have to identify the cluster cells got it sorry cluster centers that is in order to make a cluster you need a center right or a centroid based on the center itself you will be grouping the data so you have to do that as well and then next you have to update the neighbor cells saying that so and so has been identified as the cluster suppose you have identified uh, this cell suppose you have identified cell c8 as the cluster then you have to update to the neighbor cell saying that C8 has been made cluster. Then according to that neighbor cells will be, um, you know, functioning. Got it? This is how grid based clustering will work. And what is the advantage of this grid based clustering is the quick processing time. Okay, done. So next we have the example for this. So example that we are going to discuss is Sting. Okay, statistical information grid clustering algorithm. Sting stands for statistical statistical information grid clustering algorithm. Okay, here the same same will happen. What happened in the grid clustering? The same process you will follow here as well. The spatial data is divided into rectangular cells at different levels of resolutions, and these cells will form a tree structure. What do you mean by spatial data? maps example google maps or normally maps are the example for spatial data got it so the spatial data is divided into number of rectangular cells at different levels of resolution that is resolution is your wish whether you will be dividing the cells into uh, one centimeter into one centimeter cells or you will be dividing it to one millimeter into one millimeter cells that is your wish at different levels of resolution and these cells will form a tree like structure okay that is what happens in the sting algorithm so as i said we have different levels of resolution so cells at higher level will have uh, will have smaller cells when compared to its lower levels smaller cells not small number of cells smaller the size of the cell will be smaller when compared to its lower levels because the number of cells at higher level will be more as you go up you will be dividing it into uh, you know more smaller and smaller blocks got it so and so here for each and every cell what we will be doing is we will be calculating the mean 
the count we can we can calculate the mean the count minimum maximum standard deviation and the type of distribution so uh, type of distribution means nothing but it is a normal distribution or random distribution like that okay so we can calculate all these parameters so first of all what is grid blade what is what for what purpose we are using this thing algorithm in order to do the clustering right so in order to do clustering we need a parameter right uh, so for example in partitioning we have taken a centroid and in density based we have taken uh, we have divided it into number of points three types of points so here also we need something based on which we can do the clustering so here we have these parameters among these parameters we can do clustering based on any of these by taking the mean as a parameter or count or max or min any parameter we can take and based on that we can do the clustering that is our wish okay but when you are doing the clustering or when you are calculating these parameters you need to calculate it for each and every cell got it no single cell should be missed even if it is a very small cell also it should not be missed for each and every cell you have to do the clustering sorry you have to calculate these parameters and you need to cluster that cell got it so how you have to start the calculation from bottom uh, you have to go to top or from top you have to come to bottom then what you have to do is you have to start from the top and go to the bottom layer till the bottom layer that is uh, if, if it is like this okay so from the top you have to start it will be something like this okay class grids in like this so you have to start from the top and you need to come till the bottom okay in that way you have to calculate and in that way you have to do the clustering got it this is about grid based clustering simple you are dividing it into number of cells and based on that you are doing the clustering and the example is sting sting algorithm got it so that's all for this video if you are still having any doubts let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear your doubts thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel